A little spotted crab found only here in Singapore has been bred in captivity for the first time. This labour of love by scientists from the National Parks Board took about a year to accomplish. It's part of a larger plan to conserve the country's biodiversity, which in turn helps combat global warming. Rebecca Mateo with the story. It may be hard to imagine, but saving critically endangered species such as the swamp forest crab could be key to combating climate change. That is why researchers embarked on their quest to first hunt down these elusive creatures and capture them. Adding to the challenge, they are only active at night and hide by burrowing into the side of muddy banks at its only habitat in Singapore, the Nisun Swamp Forest. Once caught, it was time to study their behaviour and create the best conditions for breeding. But from the lab itself, we managed to observe them uh, more closely in the previous tanks and therefore we managed to have a better understanding of what kind of environment it requires as well as what kind of conditions it needs in the tank in order to breed as well as to uh, breed them up. So far, they have bred two generations of crabs. Some of the babies have returned to Nisun Swamp Forest, others are going to a new home. Here, some 20 swamp forest crabs are being released in an attempt to introduce them to a different area. Prior to the release, researchers from the National Parks Board collected water from one of the nature reserves in Singapore. They kept the crabs in the same water to ensure that the water is suitable for them. Swamp forest crabs survive better in water that is slightly acidic. Over the next months, researchers will be doing night surveys and measuring the size of the crabs. They will determine if the crabs are growing and doing well in their new environment. Researchers say this kind of breed and release initiative opens up the possibility for them to build a colony elsewhere. Such efforts to protect wildlife is part of NPARC's species recovery program aimed at safeguarding endemic or threatened native flora and fauna in Singapore. Animals play an important part in the ecosystem because they either function as uh, pollinators or they, they break down the, uh, the leaf litter and help with the nutrient recycling process. And with uh, everything put together, it will result in a uh, positive ecosystem services that will provide cleaner air, cooler temperatures and make Singapore more livable. Currently, more than 120 plant and animal species are under the recovery program and Parks is looking to grow this number to 160 by 2030.